Yeah, that's not going to be a problem for her. She's she was dominant as a two-year-old, but she was never very big. There was always a slight reservation about how well she trained on. She's trained on, no doubt about it, but she's not quite so strong in terms of her division as she was this time last year. That said, she's run really well, extremely well in grade one company all season. She finally picked one up at Leopardstown. She's steady here. She's quite a flighty filly by nature. That was always a slight concern, but she seems calm. She seems happy. She seems relaxed plainly not being asked to do anything too strenuous but she's had the advantage of being in Canada and now here for quite an extended spell she'll be happy in a new surroundings is she good enough is the bottom line with any horse in a top quality race and w w one quick question the mile and eighth distance because there are some concerns about a mile and a quarter in the EP Taylor she came through there the mile and an eighth shouldn't be a problem I found it? the EP Taylor slightly puzzling because she did everything right under Leperu she came there cruising and I thought well go ahead go and win and La Halib, who is a good filly in Britain, but not a superstar, just blew right by and went clear. So I think she's in great form, but is she good enough? And much as my heart would like to say yes, my head says possibly just shy. Graham, if I had to put a time form on your analysis, it'd be 150 off the charts. Highest time form in the world. Graham Cunningham is going to be with us the rest of the week on The Works. That's the type of insight you can come to expect and you can turn into money on Breeders' Cup World Championships. A look into the saddling stalls here where champions from around the world will gather on Friday, November 6th and Saturday, November 7th. And you could be betting on them as a TVG account holder. Become a TVG account holder now and you're part of a promotion that when you bet 50, you get 50. Go to TVG.com or pick up the phone and call 1-888-PLAY-TVG. There's a buzz in the air. This is that moment in our show where we're going to give you information first. You'll be reading about it later. You're going to hear it now. Backstretch buzz starting with Tom Amos. What are you hearing? Well, I talked to Calvin Burrell's agent, Jerry Hissom, and he informed me that Burrell will be riding Reddy's Echo for Todd Pletcher in the Dirt Mile. That's significant for two reasons. Burrell has ridden that horse only once, and he achieved the highest buyer number ever with that horse. And on top of that, this is a horse that comes from well back, a la Mind That Bird style. That is Calvin's specialty. Look for Reddy's Echo to run a big race in the Dirt Mile. Tom Amos, you dominate this segment. I feel sorry for you, Simon Bray, but all right, what do you got? I got, well, I don't want you guys to get stung out there. Get it? So listen up. Bob Baffert this morning said Sensational is ready to explode. At a time where everybody is going against Sensational, don't do it at all costs because this is a horse that he thinks is a certainty on Breeders' Cup weekend. He's frightened to bring him to the track. He just wants to get there this weekend. It's all about Sensational in the sprint. Bob Baffert is the Aiden O'Brien to your Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons, what's your backstretch buys? Um, Ventura. Ventura was Judmont's only winner on the card last year on the Friday and the Saturday, and she is back. But Judmont are back this year with a major chance with Spanish Moon, Proviso, uh, Father Time, Visit, Zacinto, twice over. But they have no more confident, or they are no more confident that Ventura will, she is better than ever. They say she is going to win this year again, and they, were, they say that she's never been better. And you'd have to say what we've seen on the works, it would not back up that high opinion. If you'd like to see works that we're bringing you on this show and make your own analysis, it's all available at TVG.com as a TVG account holder. And we have more action coming up for you tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We'll be here on site at Oak Tree at Santa Anita with the latest information. And again, for all the latest breaking information surrounding the Breeders' Cup World Championships, go to TVG.com. For Frank Lyons, Christine Olivares, Tom Amos, Simon Bray, Graham Cunningham, I'm Todd Schrock.